Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sharif here, welcome to the channel. Uh, what do I have today? The Coco AK2. There it is there. Uh, it's a, a lovely piece of kit. It's very much the same like the um, A2 uh, really, but uh, apart from the uh, auto sensor, uh, this one is only uh, an auto sensor, the A2 has the uh, both. 520 milliamp hour worth of a battery, uh, 0.9 pod, uh, becomes a two pods, fires uh, around about 15 watts. Let's go and have a look at it, uh, I've done a bit of a close up, there's hardly anything to show really, but you know, for uh, people you know, that like to see you know, very close up uh, stuff and uh, see what's it like. And then we'll come back and uh, very funny and tell you a bit more about it. Here we are with the box. It comes in in a much more uh, subtle uh, uh, sort of a design than the Coco Prime. You've got all your social media there and your um, uh, you know, barcodes and um, QR code and whatever. These are the contents which we're going to go through with you now. Your social media there. You get a manual which, which is a f fairly decent one. Uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, explains every bit and pieces in there. All the warning cards, you know how to fill it, how to do the top and um, what have you, and the warranty card. A nice lanyard, again, is um, is more, uh, I mean it looks it looks more classy actually than the previous one, the Coco Prime one. And a spare pod as well. Uh, that's the uh, Coco, the AK2, uh, as you can see, you know, it's, it's a much, much nicer one. They've gone back, I think, you know, a, a bit to the first Coco, I mean, it's very slim. It looks much more classier than the, uh, the, the Coco Prime. That's the also, that's the grey one, these are the two that I got, um, the um, graphite grey, I believe it is. That's the place for the lanyard here. It's a 520 uh, milliamp power, so it's almost identical really to the um, to the A2, apart from uh, this one is an auto only. And, uh, you know, as you can see, that's uh, your air hole there. Uh, there's a bit of a window there, so you can see you know, how much liquid is left in there. It's, it's quite a visible one. And uh, your USB-C uh, charging port, um, you know, is at the bottom there. You've got UL there and the CE marking. Um, uh, now the uh, pod is magnetic, so um, uh, uh, you know, it, it, and it just fits, you know, just right. It's a very, very light one as well. Uh, the two pods are the same. Uh, they are uh, 0 0.9 and firing at um, uh, 15 watts. To fill it, uh, initially, when when you get it new, it's quite quite a bit difficult to um, take it out. But um, you know, as you uh, refill, it, it gets easier. So there you go. So you need to tilt it that way. And then you got your holes there, that's um, your inlet one, and that's for air to come out. And it will take most nozzles, really. And then you click it back into place, and uh, there you are. That's the, it's a 2 mil pod, and as I said, you know, the battery is 520. But as a comparison, uh, let's put, let's put as a comparison the, um, the Coco Prime one, and uh, <laughs> look at it, I mean, th this one is a hell of a lot more classy. Then uh, the Coco Prime is also, you know, thinner as you can see there. You know, it's um, other. I, I much, much prefer that one. I didn't go much on that one, even though you know it's got changeable coils and uh, what have you. It was a bit gimmicky uh, to me, if, if I'm honest. And you get these things that you can change. I mean, it's uh, neither here nor there, really. <laughs> but some people like it. It's a personal preference, and um, there we are. So let's go on paper and um, see what's it like. As you see there, a lovely amount of vapor. Um, first things first, really, uh, the heat uh, is no, no, no. The heat is nowhere near, you know, the Caliber G. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I mean, the opinion is split 50-50 on the Caliber G. There's a G2 now um, that is coming out, and I'm really pinning my hopes that it's not going to be, you know, as hot as the vapor, um, you know, as the uh, the first Caliber G. But we're talking about this one. Uh, this one is very, very similar. It's almost identical to the um, to the A2 apart obviously from the form factor. I like the idea of the lanyard, you know, it's become more simple and, um, you know, quite presentable, shall we say, instead of having, you know, this wide one of the um, Coco Prime. But um, it vapes, it, it, it vapes quite well. It brings out the flavor, you know, quite well. Um, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, it does, you know, depicts the flavor, you know, very well. Throat hit is, um, you know, just as good. Um, again, throat hit will depend on what sort of um, uh, nicotine you have in there or not what sort is, what strength of nicotine you have in there. But nevertheless, it's, it's a very good one as far as I'm concerned. And the flavor is very good, um, you know, I have to say. Do I have anything against it? 
I really don't. What I would say is watch out for condensation because uh, th there is quite a bit of heat, you know, that comes out of that uh, point. Now, not heat in the mouth, I'm saying, you know, it generates quite a bit of heat in there. And, you know, in that enclosed area there, so you're bound to have a bit of condensation, especially if, uh, if it's cold outside, like, you know, now here in the UK or Europe and the state, or anywhere, really. So th there will be a differential, so there will be a bit of condensation. As I say in all my videos, please, you know, keep the contacts, you know, dry and clean, uh, you know, at all times. Okay, I know you don't have to pull out the pod uh, to uh, to fill it, but, um, uh, you know, every now and then, maybe every day or every couple of refills, you know, just um, dry the... Um, the uh, that well in there and um, you know keep it clean uh, because it's an auto sensor only so uh, there's no button <laughs> unlike the a2 the a2 okay if the sensor fails then you have the button you know, to uh, to use it this one doesn't so it is more and more important to keep it dry at all times um, enough of that um i i do like it i certainly like it much better than the um uh, Coco uh, Prime uh, is much more, um, it looks much more classy and uh, the colors are very nice that come out with it as you've seen in the beginning you've got the black, you've got the grey um, uh, there and uh, you've got the turquoise and, um, and, the, and the orange one which is um, the orange one which is I got on the um, A2 so yeah it, it is much more classy would i recommend it um, um yeah i would certainly recommend it um, i don't have anything against it oh, uh, with a caveat keep the contacts and the pod uh, dry at all times that is the only thing that um, uh, you know um, uh, to keep an eye on so um, there you have it that's the um uh, coco ak2 uh, of from uh, UL Caliburn and um, any comments please leave them uh, you know down below and I'll answer you as soon as I possibly can thank you very much for watching thank you bye bye